Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we will give you a detailed introduction on how to create your own alert configuration in the Charts Watcher Stock Scanner. We will create an example alert configuration that triggers when a stock hits a new high of the day after a consolidation with increased volume. The first step is to navigate to the alert configuration page via the navigation bar. Here, you click on the add button to create a new configuration. You can also use the duplicate button on one of the existing strategies if you want to use them as a base to create your strategy. The first thing you need to do is to select the type of alert you want to receive. With a click on Select Alerts, a dialog will open where you can see a list of all available alert types. You can see more details about an alert by clicking on the question mark. You can select if you want to receive an alert on the 1 or 5 minute time frame. Besides that, there is also a volume threshold each alert has. If the daily volume of a ticker is below that threshold, it will never trigger the alert until the threshold is broken. You can have a more detailed overview over all available alerts by clicking on the help section in the menu and then navigating to the alerts section. Back to our new alert configuration. We change the name to something meaningful. To get notified whenever the alert triggers, you can configure to play a specific sound or text to speech of the ticker symbol. In the next step, we have to select the alert we want from the list. After that, we have to check the option of the alert we want to use. In our case, it is the high of the day option. After choosing the alert, navigate to the filters tab. Here, some default filters are already selected. To configure more filters, you can click on select filter button. In the open list, you can choose from all available filters. Similar to alerts, we can click on the help icon to get more details about the filter. Again, you can see which options are available and what volume threshold is applied for each filter. You can find a more detailed overview over all available filters by clicking on the help section in the menu and then navigating to the filter section. Now we populate all filters we need for our configuration with suiting numbers. We start with the daily volume and set it to a minimum of 1 million shares. That means we only get alerts for symbols where the volume is above 1 million. Note, the combination of the type, over, and 1 million in the minimum field is the same as the type, between, with 1 million in the minimum field and an empty maximum field. We can delete some of the default filter which are not needed. Set the relative 5 minute change to at least 0.5%. This will ensure that we only get stocks that have moved in the last 5 minutes. Additionally, set the 5 minute change to at least 0.2, to avoid too little movement. Lastly, set the relative 1 minute volume to 200%, so we only get, high of day, alerts where we have 2 times the normal 1 minute volume. After all filters are set, we can switch to the Source tab. Here you should see NYSE, NASDAQ and Amex selected as default. This should be OK in most cases. If you want to include other data sources, you can add them here. Now, check that you don't have selected a watchlist as a restriction in the Watchlist tab. The last point we have to configure are the columns we want to see in the dashboard. We delete the columns we don't need and add some others which could be useful. In the process, we can also set a color scheme, so it is easy to quickly identify different numbers by their cell color in the dashboard. In the last tab, Summary, you can get an overview of everything we just configured. Now we are getting to the important part, the backtesting. On the backtesting page, you can select the configuration we just created. After selecting a date, you can click on Start. You can now see all past alerts that would have triggered with our configuration on the selected day. This is important as you always want to check if your alert configuration actually triggers like intended. As you can see, we have way too many alerts at the same time to manage everything properly. On top of that we get random, high of the day, alerts which does not help at all. 
What we want are breakouts with increased volume. To get better results, we have to adjust our configuration. We start by setting the high of day alert to only trigger if the last alert was at least 5 candles before. Now we can try to backtest again. As you can see, we are already getting better results. We can tweak our strategy even a little more by adding a relative volume at same time. Filter with a minimum of 100%. After testing again, you can see that we now have a lot less alerts. It is always a high of day breakout with increased volume as intended. You can use the alerts to either trade for continuation on the long side, or go for the fake breakout and trade the rejection to the short side. If you are satisfied with the config, you can now switch to the dashboard and select the newly configured alert strategy. I hope you got a good overview on how to create your own alert configuration and how to tweak your config to your needs with the backtesting feature. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to follow our official Twitter account to be the first to be informed about new tutorials videos.